Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. About a month ago, I bought myself this new tripod. This is a Calumet, I think it's a CK7300. And this tripod is made for DSLR cameras. I've been using a DSLR camera for about a year now. And I've been using the original tripod that I bought. And it's on it right now. It's a uh, and it's a really lightweight tripod. It's not really heavy enough for a, for a DSLR camera. I've been using it, but I've had a few close calls with it. And I actually had my camera fall off of that tripod once. So I decided it was probably time to break down and get a new tripod. So this tripod was $90. I got it from Amazon. When I'm done, I'll put the the link to Amazon if anybody wants to check it out, see all the specs and all that stuff. But this thing is all metal. It seems nice and solid. They say it will support up to 11 pounds, which is nice. I mean, right now I'm just using the regular kit lens that came with my camera, but if I want to get a bigger, heavier lens or you know, add a mic or lights or anything like that. I think this should handle it. So let's come in closer and I'll show you more what it looks like. The reason I bought this tripod is sturdiness. I don't have a problem with the tripod I have. It's just everything's made of plastic where all these parts on this one are made of metal. Well, actually, I'll I'll switch uh, tripods and show you what the other tripod looks after, but all these parts are metal. Even the disc uh, has a quick disconnect plate here. This is even metal where it's plastic on my other tripod. So um, that locks in nicely. It's all metal. All this stuff is adjustable. That is for the tilt and um, that holds it pretty securely. You know, I do a lot of food videos and cooking videos, so my lens is pointed down at the counter a lot, and that holds it in place. My other tripod, a lot of times this wouldn't tighten down tight enough, and the camera would flop forward like this. This other one here is the uh, level from side to side. That seems to work pretty good as well. It has a little level bubble on top, and... Um, See, actually, it's this is a little taller than my other tripod. I don't know exactly how tall it is, but I actually lowered the legs six inches because they were a little bit taller than what I wanted. So it's pretty easy to adjust. I've been using it for about a month now, and so far I can't find anything that I don't like about it. So um, let me show you what the other tripod I've been using looks like. For comparison, here's what my other tripod looks like. This is just a $25 Ravelli tripod. And I actually love this tripod, but it's not designed for a heavier DSLR type of camera. See what I was talking about? The quick disconnect plate is made of plastic. All these parts are just plastic. So uh, this really doesn't, it's not really strong enough to support a DSLR camera. I'm just kind of lucky that I haven't had any accidents. Like I said, I did have it fall once, and that was my fault because the, the quick disconnect didn't lock all the way and the camera fell off. Luckily, nothing broke, but you can see it's just kind of flimsy. It's fine for a, a little camcorder like that or a little point-and-shoot camera or an iPhone or something like that. It doesn't weigh much, but it's just not built for a DSLR camera. So like I said, I've been using this tripod for about a month now, and I like it. So far I can't find anything negative to say about it. It's nice and sturdy. It supports the camera well, which is what I was looking for. So I'll put the link to this tripod in the description, and I'll also put the link to the Ravelli tripod in the description as well because like I said I do really like that little tripod and it's fine if you're using you know a lighter camera but if you jump up to a DSLR you got to get the more heavy equipment <laughs> thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you next time